Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if you are new here, and today I will take you through 21 postures in less than 15 minutes. So if you're short on time, this video is perfect for you to access and stretch your entire body. Make your way onto your mat and sink into child pose. Bring your big toes together without an overlap and take your knees comfortably wide. Decide on the energy you'd like to implement in your hands and arms, whether active or passive. And a reminder that your posture holds are not terribly long today, so do appreciate the time you do have with mindful breathings. In through your nose, down to your belly, and out through your nose to soften your belly. The energetics of child pose, incredibly tender and grounding. A moment to pause and feel safe. Rise up through table. Keep your hips above your knees and stretch forward into puppy pose. You lengthen your fingertips to the small front edge of your mat. Melt your forehead and chest down towards the floor. If this is really intense, I'd like you to modify. Take your arms wide like the letter V or option to bend your elbows and make your forearms parallel to the small front edge of your space. You'll press into your hands, shift forward into Sphinx pose, lower your hips, pelvis, and thighs all the way down to your mat. For something less, you drop the chin to the chest. Otherwise, you lift upward through the base of your skull. Keep the back of your neck soft and long. Set your gaze or close your eyes and take a few big breaths into your low belly and your low back. Shoulders back, chest broad. When you press into your palms, lift through your head, lower all the way down, half frog on the right. Bring your right knee up in line with your right hip. And if you have glasses on like me, please set them off to the side. If you'd like a deeper stretch in half frog, stretch your arms like a big capital T and straighten your right leg so that we've created more of an L shape from heel to heel. If your right leg is straight, press your outer heel and pinky toe down. Come back to the breath and the sensation you feel. Bring your right leg back to meet your left, half frog on your left side. Swing your left knee up in line with left hip. Option to stay right there with the bend in your knee or straighten your left leg. Create more of that 90 degree angle from foot to foot. If your chest and shoulders allow, you might open your arms, big capital T. Energize from the open heart out to your open hands. Target area and half frog, your hip, your inner thigh. If your left leg is straight, remember that active pressure down, outer heel, pinky toe. Last few moments in the pose. Extend your left leg long to meet your right. And when you come back down the middle, broken wing on the right, reach your right arm to the right side of your space. Your wrist is in line with your shoulder. So not too high, not too low. Plant the sole of your left foot, whether that's on your mat or on the ground, and relax the right side of your head. Specific to this posture, invite higher breaths into the right side of your chest, please. Slow to unwind, return to your middle. Broken wing on the left. Send your left arm out to the side, bend your right knee, and plant your right hand. As you roll to your left side, relax the left side of your head and soften your eyes. Though they're short holds, maximize their potency with the completion of your exhale. Right? The exhale is a relaxation breath. Use that to soften into the posture, into the sensations. Slow to unwind, return to your middle. Rise up through table, come to hands and knees. Dragon pose on the right. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Lift your left knee. 
You can stay upright on your hands, but if there's room for you to get lower, you might come down to your elbows and forearms. Soft neck. Pull the energy of your heart forward and soften your shoulders out of your ears. A little more active, but dissolving stress in the left hip flexor, creating space in your right hip crease. Lower your left knee down. Bring your right knee back to meet your left embryo pose. Inner knees come together. Deep tuck of the chin to the chest. Let your forehead or hairline make contact with the floor. Let your spine round and your head be held. A few breaths really big into the length of your spine. Let's complete that series. Rise up through table. For dragon pose on the left, step your left foot outside of left hand. Tuck under your right toes and lift your right knee active and strong off the floor. Remember, you can stay on palms, but if there's room for you to get lower, come down to elbows and forearms. Set your gaze or close your eyes, whichever helps you to concentrate and start to breathe really big. Right knee return. Bring your left knee back to meet your right. Lift up into down dog and walk your hands back towards your feet. This next posture is called dangling pose or ragdoll. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. If you'd prefer to traction your neck, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull tugged down. Perhaps today you'd prefer the chest expansion where you interlace your fingers at your low back. A beautiful stretch through the frontal shoulders, collarbones, and sternum. If today you find a lot of tightness in the hamstrings, keep a bend in your knees, please. If there's greater length and freedom, feel free to straighten your legs. Feel solid through all four corners of both feet, your heels, your big toes, and your pinky toes. Deep bend in your knees, come down to your seat, caterpillar pose. Straighten your legs out in front of you, sweep your arms overhead and forward fold over your straight legs. Option to grab your calves, your ankles. If accessible, grab your toes and bend them back for a deeper stretch through your calves and hamstrings. Big breathings into the hip creases, much like embryo pose, big breathings into the back body. Sit tall, bend into your knees, plant your feet, and windshield wiper motion through your knees, right, left. A mild twist, butterfly legs, soles of feet together, lift your arms high and forward bend. Hands can rest on your ankles, press elbows to inner knees. You absolutely can stay right here in your butterfly pose. If you want the side body stretch though, walk your hands and arms over to the left. Press your right butt cheek, right hip down. You pass through the middle. Walk your hands, arms, and torso over to the right. Press your left sitting bone down. Feel anchored, solid. Come back through the middle in your butterfly pose. Last few breaths. Option to massage the feet with your thumbs. Work through your arches your heels. Notice what's revealed through that contact and touch. You come back up to your seat, plant your hands, windshield wiper knees. Three, two, and one. Recline all the way to your back body, full body stretch. Banana pose to the right. Walk your hands and heels over to the right side of your space. Let your right hand grab your left wrist as you take a few breaths into the C-curve of your spine. Switch it out as you're ready. Walk your hands and heels over to the left. Wider breathings into your right rib tissue. 
come on back through center and hug both knees to chest for happy baby pose. Bent knees flare wide as you flex your feet. If you'd like to rotate your ankles, please do. Half wind relieving pose on the right. Guide your right knee into your chest for a spinal twist. Right leg cross to left. Get really heavy through the back of your right shoulder. Take a big breath in. And exhale to unwind. Switch sides, hug left knee to chest, supine twist. Scoot your hips to the left and guide your left leg to the right. Bring the twist into your neck, gaze sweetly to the left. And as you are, take one more big breath in to rinse out the spine. On your exhale, release and return back to the center. As you make your way back into the middle, hug both knees to chest. Rock and roll the length of your spine. You come up to your seat for our last pose, dragonfly. A wide V-shape from hips to heels. You forward fold down the spacious middle. Please do not compare. There is no ego or expectation. When you forward bend, you can stay at your hands. Option to bring your elbows and forearms or even your forehead all the way down to the floor. Make your way into Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Gather your energy, your attention. Exhale, bring it to your heart. Take a deep inhale. And open mouth, exhale, clear what has shifted today. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. It was truly my pleasure to guide you through this full body stretch in a short amount of time. I do hope that you appreciated connecting to yourself. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.